today today we're gonna do it we will just do it welcome back everybody how are you all doing hope you're doing fine we are back playing minecraft and i've been trying to unwind a little bit after the monstrous project that was the mob farm uh yeah i really thought that would <laughs> take one or two episodes i'm i'm sorry i am really really sorry so today First of all, I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Um, as I said, I've been trying to unwind and just calm down a little bit. I've been building little bits and bobs here and there. The cave ceiling in this part of the cave would be one example. Uh, stuff like the floor in this area would be another thing. I've been also grinding materials in, in all variations. Now, this is basically the blueprint that I want to... Um, get onto every other part of the cave, ceiling-wise, that is. So this is basically, well, the usual terraforming stuff that I do. A lot of a lot of greenery in there, stalactites or stalactites or, well, the dangly bits. And roots coming down from the ceiling in all variations. I even tried to <laughs> incorporate the acacia wood that... Yeah, it's a nice transition between between stone and the more nature-looking colors, earth colors. I will have to do with this um, step by step, baby step by baby step, because this cave is gigantic. And just so, so you know what I have planned here, this whole part of the mountain, I want to hollow this out. I want to have a very wide wooden staircase up, spiral staircase, up to the top of the mountain, several floors in between <laughs> with um, utility farms, villager stuff, and so on and so forth. This is a big thing, and it will not be finished in the next few episodes. Also, very important, super duper important, we now have chairs, because that is totally what you need in Minecraft. Ha! Also, this mushroom problem here is getting out of hand a little bit. I wanted vegetation in this cave, but it's, um, yeah, doing its own thing. Be gone, fungi. And you. Uh, maybe you. Also you. And you. Oh boy! They are everywhere. What are you doing here? That is my storage system. You like it? You? Okay. Now, as I've been gathering resources, normally I just do this here. This is my <laughs> not yet automated uh, wood farming spot. Um, I've been trying to develop an idea of what I want to do with this place. This whole, this whole beach, this little biome in front of a mountain. There has to be something I can do with it. This is what the mob farm was about, by the way. This is one hour of Ave King at the mob farm. Look at the bone meal. Look at it. So much bone meal. So many trees. So much wood. I find that sometimes, especially with big projects in Minecraft, or to, me, to be precise, if you just have an open space just as big as this one, I can't get a grasp of what I want to do right away. I have to let the idea come to, to me in its own pace bit by bit, just until it's fully formed. And for now, I think I know at least how the terrain is going to look like. Not sure about any buildings, because there will be buildings at some point. Not sure how those are going to look like, but the terrain... I think I'm going for some sort of Wild West style, for some arid shrubland close to the beach, uh, transforming into some lush pine forest or maybe something redwood like i don't know what do you guys think and yes that totally means that i'm terraforming a whole biome yeah that, that is going to happen now enough of me babbling and 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 monologuing we have some building to do looky looky here's a path that wasn't here before Ooh, what could that mean well, that basically means that I <laughs> made a stupid mistake and yeah, I built this whole thing. 
I tried to capture it all with the replay mod and the replay mod crashed. So I have no footage of me building this thing. Um, uh, yeah, we have a sheep farm now. <laughs> all of a sudden, whoopsie. <laughs> well, um, let me just show you around here. Um, this was the long overdue project that I've spoken of at least two times. We have a automatic sheep shearing, well, factory thingy. One sheep for each color, color coded by the glass. So here, that back there is a lime green sheep, giving us lime wool. For those of you guys who already know how <laughs> how basic redstone works, this is not a, a, a highly complicated thing. There is the color coded sheep. As soon as the as they eat the grass below their feet, they will regrow their wool. And there's an observer in here that is watching the grass block. And as soon as the grass, uh, as the sheep eats it, the observer notices, puts a signal out that gets caught by the dispenser. Then the dispenser shears the sheep. An endless circle of sheep shearing extravaganza. There you saw it. And, of course, there is a hopper minecart down below the feet of the sheep, below the grass, leading through a hopper street in this chest where the wool gets collected. As you can see, I have not only built the sheep farm itself, but some decorative little bits here and there. I thought this was a perfect place to set up... Um, some sort of shepherd's village or, or one, at least one house for some shepherds. So NPCs that we can use to trade in dyes and wool, um, just to generate some emeralds and just to bring some, some life into this part of the mountain. I want to choose the same building palette because the building will actually look a little bit like this one. We will be going for warped wood, stems, wool, warped blocks, warped wart, <laughs> Warped ward blocks, dark wood, dark wood planks, terracotta in two colors, the gray and the normal variant, I believe, granite in both variants, bricks, jungle wood, polished andesite, the block that nobody likes, diorite, <laughs> in both variants. So let's clean this up and start the time lapse. <laughs> Look at it in all its splendor and glory. There was um, a real pain to get those villages inside here, just so you know. This was not easy, just to make it feel alive. <laughs> well, and it's actually quite a bit useful. So, we have this uh, basement, um, 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 first floor, where those three guys, or ladies, or something in between, I won't judge, Mr. Unibrow, pretty pretty with your pretty big nose. Okay, let's not talk about your nose. They have their workstations here. All of them, all three of them, I leveled up to master. And I zombified them often enough, so they basically trade me one wool for one emerald. And one really handy thing, just so you know how you can get a use of something else, this guy buys red dye, one for one. Which means that my iron bakery back in the main base, which is producing iron, but also poppies has a use now. The poppies have a use now. This guy will basically... Wait, let me turn the hat on. Was it you? No, it wasn't you. You can't get in. Ah, oh, you're very clever, boys. There you go. Whee! 
We can sell those, finally. The poppies have a use. Ah, wonderful. Now, for the upstairs, just a little bit of decoration and three colorful, fancy beds for those guys. They have a, an entrance to the, the sheep stable, which they, of course, can't open for themselves. The guys, the villagers, are basically trapped in the house and their own little garden thing, because villagers cannot open gates, fence gates. That is impossible for them, because they are stupid. Okay. So, inside here. Sheep stuff, hay stuff. Yes. Very exciting. <laughs> And a lot of sheep, just for, well, mostly decorative uses. <laughs> so that is that. Um, Yeah, there will be a little bit more terraforming to do here, but for now, this is it. This is that part. And I like it. I know the color palette is not what everybody um, <laughs> um would prefer, but I like it. It's a little bit of an experiment, and I'm happy. One of the next things we might have to put our eyes on um, might actually be the villager transportation problem. Because at the moment, <laughs> as you've seen in the short little transportation, uh, the, in the short little clip there, it was a real pain to get those villagers over there. I basically had to set up this track, get them there. I, I still have my villagers in this cave here. <laughs> I'm just hoarding them here, having them uh, making the babies uh, as many as I as I can store up in here, and and then I'm just taking them whenever I need them. But uh, getting them getting them zombified and and into the mine carts is oh it's just a pain. So that might be the next problem, uh, the next project we will be tackling, and I think I'm starting to develop an idea for that that will probably be stuff for the next episode guys thank you very much for watching have a wonderful evening see you in the next one <laughs>